Hello and welcome to section number 10 of the ITIL Foundation Certification Training. This section is about the technical management practices. We have only one such practice, at least for the foundation syllabus, and that is deployment management. What is the purpose of deployment management? It is to move new or changed hardware, software, documentation, processes, or any other component to live environments. It may also be involved in deploying components to other environments such as testing or staging. The key word here is the movement rather than allowing users to use it. If it is about allowing the users to use it, use a service or a product, then it is the release management practice. But this one is just about moving and keeping things ready before the release can be done. Therefore, deployment happens before the release. It is important to note that release and deployment are very closely connected with each other. So therefore, let's take a closer look at comparing deployment and release. We have seen earlier that release management is about allowing users to use a certain service or a product. But it also includes the following, as we see on the right, such as early life support, for example, educating the support teams and the service teams, creating the knowledge articles for self-service and keeping the developers on standby for any go live issues. It's also about the knowledge tra sharing, training, etc. And But mainly it is about enabling the access to the users, which can be done in various ways, such as routing traffic to the new environment from the older environment. So for example, if a user goes to a website, they will see that the new website is available to them. So that is release management or a certain file may be allowed to download, which means it is kept ready to download. If it is not ready for download, but still available and prepared, then it is just deployment management. So we focus more on the deployment management here because it, it is to move the services to a certain environment, such as live or testing or staging, et cetera, or even to development environments, which means that during deployment, it is about the transition of components and services between the controlled environment. For example, installing the hardware and keeping it ready, committing relevant software code, uh, verifying the service components and their functionalities, verifying the target environment, such as the production environment, making sure it is all set up properly, or sometimes automatically setting it up and keeping it ready and fully prepared, but not still allowing the users to use any service yet or any functionalities yet. So that is deployment. So which means again that deployment happens before the release however in organizations these terms are used interchangeably what is meant by deployment in one organization can mean release in another and vice versa which means that these two are seldom done in isolation they are usually done together as noted at the bottom they can hardly be done separately therefore there is a lot of overlap between these practices for example verification could be done both in deployment and release and these are just few of the differences.